Hello out there, all you wonderful people. This is Andre the Game I Dig. I thank you once again for lending me your time and your ear and listening into another Pitch for Switch video. And this time I'm going to be talking about Jade Empire Special Edition, which would be a great addition to the Switch lineup. Um, Jade Empire was made by Bioware way back, back during the original Xbox days, like Xbox Original and uh, PC. It's still on PC, available to be picked, bought on uh, good old games and... Uh, Steam and several other online retailers for PC and you can get it for pretty cheap It's still like this awesome game me. I only recently got into playing it because I I had I still have my original Xbox, but when I had an Xbox before I only got to play Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2 um, I could never find like a decently priced Jade Empire So when I finally got on PC, I was ecstatic to be able to play it um, You can also get it on Android and think iOS as well but um it's one of those games Jade Empire is one of those games where it's really heavily story based but there's a lot of interesting stuff that can happen in the game and then like your choices kind of affect how things go so I personally like the series I mean I'm mean, not the series I personally like the game at least what I've played of it I haven't gotten very far in it yet because I only just started playing it I mean I played it several months ago, but I didn't play very far. I think I only played a couple hours in. Um, either way, but like the combat, it, it, even though it's not like you know, and it's not a full-on action game, it does have a lot of combat in it, and you're like you do have to strategize about how you will tackle certain situations with your characters. Um, but I could see this getting like a revamped version. And have put it out for the Switch and then maybe later port it to the Xbox One and PS4 and even make a, a new edition of the, a, a, a better, like what they did, what, like what uh, Bethesda did with Skyrim, where they made an updated version of it and put it out for everything. So I could see that being a worthwhile thing to do. Like, and it's not like the game is. It's not like visually stunning by today's standards, but it's still a decent looking game. So, I mean, them taking it and then just doing the work and putting it out I, uh, and, and uh, making it look better, making it run a little bit smoother, maybe add in some things that they didn't get to originally put in the game that they might have wanted to, that they just had to cut out, it would be worth it to me. Just to put in like maybe even an additional character class or something. Like it's it's one of those games that is a classic game that I think it would do very well on the Switch because it's a game that's also one of those that just stands out. It's not like everything else that's on the platform. <clears throat> Sorry, I was trying to stop a cough there, but it's not like everything else that's out on the Switch currently. Like in, it it has its own distinct feeling to it, which would be great. And like and then you can play it at home or portable. It's got the best of both. The way you could, where like Android, you can play the game on the go. Or like PC or a console, you can play it on your television or your monitor. So with the Switch, you have the best of both of those things, where you can do it on the tablet itself, tablet screen, or you can plug it, plug it in the dock, and then play it on your TV. Um, so it works well for both of those things, and it gives you both of those things just with that one game. And I don't see why EA, honestly, why they shouldn't do it. I see that they, I'm pretty sure they won't, but I don't see why they shouldn't, honestly, because it would be a good game to put out on the Switch. Um, and like I said, and then remaster it for every, and then take that game and port it to everything else from there. Like put the Switch version out first because you're using the Switch to promote it being updated and getting the, um, the dual use out of the Switch. Um, and then you have the multiple different control options, which should be pretty daggone self-explanatory at this point. I'm not going to go over everything again. Like, <laughs> at least for this specifically, you really shouldn't have to, because there's multiple options there, and it's like the Switch is going to be having. I think there's supposed to be a keyboard coming out for the Switch in not too long anyway, so you could play it any way you really wanted to, as long as they set the game up right. Um, I mean, I don't want to go too much more because I mean. I personally haven't played all the way through it, and I plan on doing that. I might just restart the game I started and just do a playthrough for my channels. We'll see. I don't know just yet. I'll, I'll think about it. But that's it. Thank you guys very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears up for more stuff from me. And until the next time, please enjoy your games and peace.